Hey guys, Fonny just let you know we can see a new Samsung Galaxy S2 being launched in September with an updated version of this uh, current processor, the Exynos SOC processor uh, that they upgraded at first, we had a, the first Samsung Galaxy S2 it had a 1 GHz dual core processor and then they had this new uh, chipset, the Exynos SOC and then right before launch they updated it to 1.2 GHz and it seems like they're trying to do the same thing now but uh, upping it 200 MHz more only updating the processor in this new version so it will have the same GPU, the Mali-400 MP and the same RAM 1 GB but um, 1.4 GB dual core instead of 1.2 so that's going to be kind of cool and why they're doing this in September well, it's kind of obvious if this rumors are true, because I mean that's the month we are probably going to see the next generation iPhone. So yeah, that's where they are doing it. They want to be able to compete with the next generation iPhone. The current generation, the current uh, iPhone right now, the iPhone 4, doesn't even have a dual core. So I'm not sure what Apple is going to do, but uh, I think they're going to go with something like I don't know, 1.2 gear dual core. Not sure. Maybe even one gigahertz dual core, but uh, I'm not sure. But you have to remember that everything is not about the uh, you know hardcore processing power because it depends also on the operating system. If you, I mean, different different operating system require different amount of um, speed and uh, all those good things like uh, Windows Phone Seven doesn't require that much. And we have some other random operating system like the Mego OS doesn't even also require that much hardcore power, but I mean, hey, it's always fun to have, so that's going to be cool. Hopefully, it will have the same Galaxy S2 name. I don't think it's Galaxy S3, that would be kind of awkward. No, it's going to be an updated version, hopefully, of the Galaxy S2 only, so stay tuned for that. See.